David, can you just sort of walk me through the clubs that we've got in your bag uh, coming in here? I see a, a brand spanking new driver, but lots of stuff that's, I don't like to say vintage, but a little bit older. What, what, what have we got here? Um, well, we have some new 588 wedges, which are really nice. Um, mm -hmm. You know, very similar to the look I've used for my uh, whole career, really. We've got the old CG7s, uh, just kind of old, old faithfuls in the bag. Sure. And, uh, you know, the last few years, my ball striking iron play has gotten a lot better, so I'm just kind of sticking with uh, what's worked. How many sets of irons will you go through? How often do you replace the, the actual set of, no, of irons? I've actually had these a few years now. Really? So, um, I'm not a big practicer. And when I do, I'm <laughs> usually hitting a lot of balls, so I don't wear out the grooves too much. And then I've got the old uh, hybrid launchers in the bag, and mm -hmm. uh, just back to, you know, go with what works. I have to hit them a lot. So, you know, might as well have something I know that's there and it's performed in the past. When, when did you start going with, with, with two of them in, in the bag? At what point were you sort of as a player looking at it being like, yeah, you know what, Not, one, maybe two of these things is, is going to help me? Uh, probably four or five years ago, I really? took the three iron out. Uh, I'd carried a five wood for the longest time, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's quite as versatile as the two hybrid, so I started to carry the two hybrid instead, and yep. I've been able to hit a lot of good shots with that. Now, this club, obviously, is something that looks pretty vintage. I mean, you're a guy who I'm sure, like my Myself, grew up hitting persimmon and yeah. such like that. So, so talk to me about this driver and the first time you saw this Cleveland Classic. What'd you think? Well, what I like about it, it has the uh, the vintage look, like you said. Yeah. Uh, also, the feel. I mean, it feels a lot softer than things I've used in the past, clubs mm -hmm. I've used in the past. And, uh, but you know what? I mean, it's got all the new technology. So, you know, I think if this club was black, nobody would say anything about it. But it certainly catches their attention with the uh, with the paint job and the feel of it and everything. I gotcha. think it's a great club. What's the the trickiest club for you to get just right in, in your bag? I mean, obviously these are the tools of your trade. You're going to make your living with these things. They got to be just right. Which, which one of them is is the hardest? If you had to replace one, to to replace? I think the 60 degree wedge. Really? Uh, well, but just because we have so many different conditions, mm -hmm. uh, different bunker sand from on. On a week-to-week -week basis, different conditions around the green. Some weeks soft, some weeks firm. Uh, you know, you got to have a club that's somewhere in the middle because you know you certainly don't want to have to get used to a new club every week. And the money club in here, uh, obviously the putter. You've got a pretty unique this this big super stroke grip on there. So what can you tell me about this club? And it's it's similar, it seems, if I remember right, to to a lot of clubs that you've had. In the yes. past, it looks like you got a little custom paint job there on the folks from Never Compromise. What can you tell me about it? Uh, just a very simple putter. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not heel shafted. It's not face balanced. It's somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. It's got a little pocket on the back that gives it a little more feel. Um, really like it. Uh, easy to line up. Feels great when you hit the ball and puts a true roll on it. So that's really all you can ask for. I was going to say, that's, that's pretty much right. the whole package right there. Yes. Cool. Thanks right. a lot, TT. Yeah. I appreciate your help.